hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to another training video i am daniel nangelo and in this training video we will be discussing and demonstrating uh, on how to calculate uh, the coping strategy index using excel if you are watching me for the very first time i'll i'll encourage you to just watch my previous training videos on this particular Con, uh, this particular topic that is a food security nutrition and livelihoods so in, in case you have any questions you can just reach me down here under my contacts then we can discuss anything that you want us to discuss so welcome and let's start so what is uh, what is coping strategy index from the previous training videos we have discussed um, the indicators uh, these are measures that help us to know whether a household or a particular geographic area is food secure or not and one of these measures is usually the coping strategy index we said in my previous videos we've uh, we've discussed the household hunger score we've discussed the food consumption score and in this particular training video we are going to discuss and demonstrate how to calculate the coping strategy index just in a nutshell the coping strategy index is usually an indicator for household food security and when we are using this measure to assess household food security we usually ask a series of questions about how households manage to cope with a shortfall in food security uh, in food consumption as a result which usually result in a simple numeric score now we are going to look at our data set this is our data set and in here we have a number of questions that we've asked so what are some what are these questions that we usually ask that help us to end up with this particular score now depending with the area depending with the country the questions might change and there are those who usually just ask um, all these questions then there are regions that usually just um, sum all these questions into four into five questions that uh, I wish, which which usually weighted and used to come up with a score that um, will help any data analyst or any intervention that has to be done in terms of alleviating food insecurity within households so the first question this is a series of questions that we usually ask we have we usually ask questions on dietary change for example These questions, we usually uh, use these questions to monitor changes in the consumption, uh, in the coping strategy index, which usually indicates whether a household food security status is declining or improving. The CSI is usually based on many possible answers to one single question. And the question is usually, what do you do? when you don't have enough food or you don't have money to buy food and uh, these are the coping strategy index questions that usually come under that particular uh, area we have the first one is usually dietary change we usually ask in the past seven days for how many days has your household had to rely on less preferred or less expensive foods? Then we also have questions on increased short-term household food availability, where we ask in the past, within the last seven days, for how many days has your household had to borrow food from a friend or relative? Or how how mm, mm, within the last seven days um when has your for how many days has your household had to purchase food on credit gather wild food 
hunt or harvest immature crops, consume seed stock held for next season. Then we have the other part where we have we, we group it as decreased number of people, where we ask questions that has to do uh, for how many in the last seven days. For how many days has your household had to send children to eat with the neighbors or send household members to beg? Then we also have the rationing strategies where we ask questions that have to do like uh, within the last seven days. For how many days has, how has, has your household had to limit portion size at meal times? Restrict consumption by adults in order for small children to eat. Feed working members of household in the, at the expense of non-working members. Reduce number of meals eaten in a day. Skip entire days without eating. Now, all these are questions that we usually ask when we are trying to capture data that um data that is going to be used to calculate the coping strategy index each of these particular questions is usually assign a weighted score and then the final uh, the final score this particular score is usually multiplied by the frequency so down here i'm just going to show you a very small example So we've said that different strategies are usually weighted differently depending on how severe they are considered to be by the people who rely on them. And that is why we say that uh, these questions or the, the scores might uh, vary uh, depending on country or the geographic area or region. So for my case, uh, these are the standard um, questions and the standard uh, scores according to WFP. Now, WFP and the FAO. So the frequency answer is usually then multiplied by the weight that reflects the severity of individual behaviors. Then finally, the total scores are usually summed up. The simplest procedure for doing this is to group individual coping behaviors according to similar levels of severity and assign a weight to each group. From lowest, that is the least severe, to highest, which is most severe. Now, we usually have a range of weights that are run from 1 to 4, which is usually the most preferred or the one that works well. So I have an example here where we have some data for a particular household. Now within this data, we can see that we have the, uh, the coping strategy index questions that were asked for this particular household. And you can see that uh, these are the questions. The first column basically is displaying the questions on what were the coping strategy index that were employed by this particular household then we have the raw score which is the frequency so under the raw score these are the number of days that this particular household uh, employed these various strategies then um, this we have the severity weight now this uh, this is the weight for each uh, this was the weight that was assigned to each of these coping strategies so you can see that um, for the first question we have um, in the past seven days, for how many days did your household rely on less preferred and less expensive foods? This particular household registered a frequency of five, that is for five days, they relied on less preferred and less expensive foods. So the severity weight is one. So to... To calculate the final score, we multiply the frequency by the severity weight where we end up with 5, which is usually the weighted score. Then we have borrow food or rely on help from a friend. They, uh, they registered a frequency of 2. The severity weight is 2. So the weighted score for this strategy is 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. Purchase food on credit, uh, they registered a frequency of 1. 
you multiply it by the severity score of 2, you end up with a weighted score for this strategy, which is 2. Well, okay, they entered 0 uh, for gathering wild food and uh, harvesting mature crops. The severity for this strategy is usually 4. So, where the weighted score is 0. Consume seed stock held for the next season is 0. Okay, they entered 0. The severity score for this uh, strategy is 3. So the weighted score will be 0. Send household members to eat elsewhere. The uh, they entered a frequency of 1. The severity score is usually 2. So the weighted score for this particular coping uh, strategy is 2. Send household members to beg is, okay, they entered the 0. The severity score for this strategy is usually 4. The calculated weighted score for this strategy is 0. Limit portion size at meal times, they entered, uh, they registered 7, a frequency of 7, which means within the last 7 days, they employed this strategy for the 7 days at least seven days so the severity score ends up to be seven the, okay the severity weight is one so the weighted score will be seven restrict consumption by adults in order for small children to eat they did it for two days this very uh, the severity score weight is two the weighted score for this uh, uh, strategy will be four right feed uh, working members at the expense of non-working members they didn't employ anything so it's zero so usually if you have not employed any of this strategy for the last seven days we usually uh, say that uh, you enter a frequency of zero that is why you are seeing zero so um, the severity weight for this uh, strategy is two the weighted score is zero Reduce number of meals eaten in a day. They did it for, for five days within the last seven days. The severity uh, weight for this strategy is usually two. So you uh, the weighted score will be 10. That is five multiplied by two. That is 10. Skip entire days without food. Okay, they registered zero, meaning that they did not employ this strategy within the last seven days. So the severity weight is four. The calculated weighted score is zero. That is a frequency multiplied by the severity weight. That is why we are getting these values here. All right. Now, having understood that, the final coping strategy index for this household will be we sum we sum all these weighted scores then we group them from a continuous scale to a categorical scale or what we call the thresholds so for this you come and sum all this then after that we usually have a threshold and um, the threshold is usually 0 to 50 is usually assigned low. 50 to 100 is usually assigned medium. So we say this is the low strategy, coping strategy index. Uh, uh, from 51 to 100, that is a medium coping strategy index. Then uh, 100 and above, we term that as severe coping strategy index so uh, these, these are the thresholds that uh, you will use to just uh, categorize uh, this continuous scale into a categorical uh, values or categories so um for today's training video what we'll be doing we'll be using excel and excel is very common is very popular globally and uh, so and it's very easy to use and that is why we are using this for this particular training video in the next lesson we'll be seeing how to calculate the same 
using the SPSS statistical package. So let us dive into it. So we have our data set here. And um, like I said, it's always good. We say that it's good to watch my previous videos on data management. So if you look at this, you can see that this is numeric data but has been stored as text. So the first thing that we do is to copy the entire data set, open notepad like that and have your data inside there, then copy it again. We uh, Then this time we do not want to mess up the original data, so we open and we can rename this to let me just say copying strategy index like that then i can have it there uh, yes so there it is so we navigate to the column that has our data uh, that should be e should be e y e a e y okay yeah here it is so i have my e y here now uh, the range of questions that i'm interested with for coping strategy index runs from here to here so i'll just assign a color like this now notice that my data is now formatted as text and not as, as numeric data and that is it has been right aligned so i can perform mathematical operations on on this so um these are the questions that we want so maybe for purposes of just demonstrating I'll just have it there maybe let me just have it in a different sheet and this time I can just go with them um, I'm looking for transpose yeah transpose there it is so these are um, these are the questions that we need to ask about coping strategy index so you can see here we have rely on less preferred or less expensive food hate to borrow rely on food and all that so what i'm going to do i'm going to just i don't like this very long uh, column titles so i'll just copy this so i'll come back to my data set here so then I'll come here and say, pick this. So I'll just copy that. Then I'll just hit Control F. And select replace and say replace this with nothing here so I'll just come and say before I do that maybe I need to just highlight my range like that so here I'm going to replace it with nothing so I'll say replace all so I have 12 replacement like that so i can close i'm happy with this so i now i now have proper short names rely on less preferred food or less expensive food uh, okay let me also get rid of the equal uh, of the question mark So I'll replace it with nothing. So I'll say replace all. Okay, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, 
yes be very careful with your data that is usually why we say work with the duplicate and not the original data because you can mess it up so it's also a good thing that i also have my uh, pre, uh, my original data here so i'll just highlight my range like that Control f okay then i'll just say replace all okay mm, that doesn't seem to, to be going well Okay, we can just leave it the way it is. So, um, the next thing that we need to do is to now convert this into a table. So, I'll highlight everything and say insert menu, select table, like that. Then I'll just... <laughs> Good. So here it is. So, uh, okay, let me just. Column width, I'll go maybe I can go with the 10. Let me see. Okay, that's much better. Okay, good. So, um, These are our questions. So we'll be using this. So I'll come here and use a sum function like that. So I'll say sum. Then I'm going to multiply this, rely on less preferred or less expensive food that is has a sub, uh, weight of one so i'll multiply by one i'll put a comma i'll come and pick So, I'll multiply that by, that should be borrow of food or rely, borrow of food or rely help from a friend or relative has a weight of 2. So, multiply it by 2, like that. Pick this purchase food on credit, uh, that has a weight of 2, so I'll also multiply that by 2. Then uh, gather wild food, hunt or harvest mature crops. That one has a weight of four, so I'll multiply that by four. Mm. 
then we have consume seed stocks held for next season that one has a weight of three so we multiply by three then um, send household members to eat elsewhere send household members to eat household elsewhere has a weight of two so we assign it to two then uh, the next one is uh, send household members to beg send household members to beg that has a weight of four we multiply by four limit portion size at meal times that has a weight of one so we multiply by one put our comma restrict consumption by elders in order to in order for small children to eat uh, and that one has a weight of two so we multiply by two <laughs> so we come to the next one that is feed the working members of household at expense of non-working members that has a weight of two then um, reduce number of meals eaten in a day that has a weight of two so technically we multiply by two comma then skip entire day without eating that has a weight of four which is happens to be the maximum so multiply by four like that so then we hit enter so uh, you can see that uh, it has um, calculated the weighted uh, score that is the weighted score so um, this is continuous data so we want to assign this to we want to record this into either low coping strategy medium strategy and severe coping strategy so i'll come i can what i'm going to do is just insert a new column there i'll call it uh, i can call it csi threshold then um, i'll come and create a lookup table so let me just call it rename it to the lookup so in here i know that uh, we have 0 to 51 so if you are doing a v lookup table we come here and just insert the upper limit and Low, uh, the lower limits only so so low CSI score should be 0 to 50 so you can have here 0 to 50 0 to 50 we assign it as 0 then we assign it as low right then um, 51 to 100 so come 51 to 100 here we pick the lower limit which is 51 so that it should be 51 we assign medium right then uh, we have more than 100 So the lower limit should be a hundred. We assign it severe or high, like that. So uh, we come back to this. We run the VLOOKUP function, and the VLOOKUP function will be based on this. Then we put a comma, come up to our VLOOKUP table. So we're interested with this. 
then um, I'm going to absolutely reference this so I'll hit f4 so notice it's uh, it will reference my absolutely then I'll do it like that and say I need to assign values under row 2 so it should be row 2 then 1 to repeat the whole thing so when I click enter there I am so we can see if 0 to 50 should be low so I have 49 that is low 82 that should be medium anything that is above 100 okay so this is okay so ladies and gentlemen um that is how you calculate the coping strategy index now um just maybe to understand what all this means so what what this means is that whenever you see a high coping strategy index then it means that um the household is far away from being food secure low coping strategies it means that uh, the household is approaching food security so for example when you are interpreting this csi scores it is usually it it makes a lot of sense when you are doing it or when you are you are interpreting it over multiple time periods or among multiple locations or across specific groups such as subpopulations for example a household that has a csi score of 55 96 and 92 in july september and november respectively technically what this means is that um what it means is that the household food security status is getting worse with time because you have 55 96 and 92 here it was medium here it's um, still medium but the value is increasing to then here we have 92 so um, if on the on the other hand we noted that an intervention you can be having an intervention you are working with a prescribing intervention within food, that has to do with the food security programs you might have done an intervention whereby you are providing emergency food assistance um, now you'll want to really watch the house for example uh, you'll want to know was uh, was there an impact when uh, for receiving food aid We'll want to watch very carefully what happens to the CSI score. After introducing emergency food aid, did the CSI go up or come down? If it improves, that is, if the CSI score decreases, then, and nothing else significant, significantly changes, then there should be, then it, what it means, e.g., there has been no uh, like nothing else has changed like uh, we haven't had any harvest recently within that particular area then it will be fairly good evidence of a positive impact of the emergency food assistance so in a nutshell we said that uh, if the csi improves then it if food security improves it means that the csi score has decreased has gone down that is uh, if the food security has improved then the csi score will be low will de decrease if food security deteriorates the csi score will increase so uh, ladies and gentlemen that is what you will want to just um, remember and maybe write down because just calculating these uh, coping strategy index or food security indicators is not enough interpreting it over uh, a lot of data sets or over other factors is usually very important so uh, in an attempt to come up uh, or to uh, in an attempt uh, to make um, um,
key decisions or informed decisions and interventions so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching if you liked this uh, training video please subscribe down here on the link below see you in my next training video i'm happy that you joined me today thank you